That literally was just one shelf, man. I've got. Welcome back to another adventure. You're seeing correctly. I am wearing a hoodie in the midst of August because my wife is a Arctic queen. It is absolutely freezing in this house. But that's okay because we're about to be moving around and getting warmed up. I am actually going to go through all of my stinking tools. I've just, I've wanted to do this for quite a while, but I've just... Uh, it's so overwhelming because I've got so many of them and I really just don't have a lot of space to do anything with it. So we're going to get start at least start to tackle it today. So my plan is I'm going to just go ahead and pull everything. So I've got many places with different places with a bunch of tools. So I've got all my this whole corner. This is probably more of the majority of what I've got right here probably. I think. I'm not sure. I've got quite a bit back in the back room. The back room is what's going to be... The back room is going to be fun, let me tell you. So, but we're just going to start small. So I'm going to start with this area first. I'm going to get everything out of here. I'm going to lay it all out on the floor here. And we're just going to start separating what goes where and at least try to get it organized. And then uh, once we get all of the tools organized in the right places where they belong, then... I'm thinking I may just go outside and get, start to get my uh, carport out there straightened out and then we'll start on the back room and we'll get everything set up to where I'll have it all set up in my carport, all my tools organized. So that way next time we have to work on a vehicle or something, we won't be running around pulling our hair out trying to find this or that when I know I've got what I need, I just never can find it. So, all right, let's start pulling all these tools out and uh, Start organizing, what do you say? to detect, yeah? Bits. 
These get used quite often. Those are my most used tools right there. You're going to walk the sheep rock and saw. Hot crap, man. And this is how I'm going to be spending my entire day. Start separating them into certain each bag. Here's some dog nail clippers. Good ones. That's what that little blade is back there is to guide, put your put their nail, touch it up to that flat piece in the back, touch their nail to it. Wire cutters, screwdrivers, sockets. Anything that can work on a vehicle over there. Yep, that's my Matco. I wish I could find my whole set. This is screws. And anything like carpentry or woodwork, we would put in this bag. There's actually probably a lot, probably a lot of stuff in here DD5 would like because he's an HVAC guy and I've got a lot of HVAC tools. So, like, I don't even know what I've got, honestly. A lot of the tools that I have, like I said, I'm gonna have DD5, when he comes over, go through all of this crap that I don't know what it is, and uh, have him give me an explanation, or if he wants it, he can, he can take the HVAC stuff, because I'm never gonna use the HVAC stuff. Zippo! So I got these tools from a friend of mine that was an HVAC technician, and, uh, they had, they were planning on moving to like Minnesota or something like that. I can't remember. It was an odd, odd state, not odd state, but you know what I'm saying? Like this or some random place, but they were planning on leaving. 
So he told me, told us to come over, him and his wife, and he's like, I got some tools that I'll go ahead and just give to you. You know, I was thinking maybe just a handful of tools or something. We get over and his house is literally covered in power tools. I mean, you name it. Like I even had a uh, generator for HVAC and other, I sold all that. I made like 1500 bucks off that, but he literally gave me everything. I said, so are you like brand new Dewalt tools? And I was like, are you, are you sure there's not uh, like certain ones in here you don't want to let go of? He's like, no, man, just take what you want. I was like, well, if you don't want it, I'll, I'll take every bit of it. <laughs> Regardless if I even know what it is, I'm taking it, man. That's like thousands of dollars worth of tools. Like I could, like we've got a, a brand new paint, brand new paint sprayer. I mean, look, it's never even been, oh no, this is a camera. So this is an HVAC thing too, so. This right here is actually a long, like, flexible cable, and it's got a camera on the end of it. You turn the camera on, and you run that down your hose or whatever, and you got this, which... Which records what's down in the tube. Isn't that cool, dude? Now that I'm probably gonna hang on to because that, that could probably come in handy in some sense. I don't know what yet, but that's definitely a very cool, a very cool tool. I like that. But yeah, just stuff like that. Like just crazy. Like I couldn't believe that he was just just wanted it out of his house. Got a tile wet saw over there, a wet band saw. That thing's no telling how much that thing's freaking work. You hook up the water to it and it sprays water onto the band and you can cut ceramic tile with it. And then just bags of random, all kinds of different random tools. Ratchet wrenches, just everything. I mean, it's pretty nice. And then they end up not even moving. They end up not even moving. I mean, they moved out of the house they were in, but they just moved to another town right over here next to us over in Broken Arrow. And I've really not, Heard nothing from them since since then. A little strange. This will be literally the first time I've even, like I said, there's just so much, so overwhelming. Like, first time I've gone through any of it. I'm thinking maybe putting all these in this bag. See, wrenches and we've got the torque wrench. Now that didn't come from him. That was mine. That's a torque wrench, so you can select how many pounds of pressure you want on your bolt. See what I'm saying? And you just, right there's a little gauge, you just goes all the way up to, this one is uh, 80 pounds of torque it can go up to. And then when you're cranking, it'll tick. And once it ticks, it's at whatever pressure you put it at. Which is normally how you're supposed to put on like lug nuts on cars. Different cars, different models have different, they're in the, the details. They have different pounds of pressure you're supposed to put the lug nuts and stuff. Which goes just about for any kind of nut on a vehicle. There is a dimension that you have, you are supposed to go by for every single nut. Like 30 pounds of torque on this nut, 20 pounds of torque on this nut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my sockets and wrenches in here. Anything else? I just, I don't know yet, honestly. I'm just kind of winging it to be honest. And once we get moved out to Kentucky, I'll have plenty of room to lay out my tools and have them in specific areas so that when I'm doing whatever project, working on a car, wood building, whatever it is, I will have everything organized in specific location. That's kind of, I mean, that literally is the only reason that I've not done that here because I just don't have that space. So I have like little bitty sections to put my tools in and so that means as much tools as I've got, it's all piled on top of each other. It's like it's how he likes to play with me for some reason. All right, y'all, we gotta head to the store real quick. We gotta pick up a couple things, and then when we get back, we'll get to sorting through the tools again. So, yeah, we'll be right back at it. All right, yeah, we're gonna put some shock in the pool again. We shocked it last week, and 
two weeks ago and Miracle and her friend, they swam in it. I seen them out here swimming one day when we got home from work, but it's really not too bad. It's starting to get a little grimy again, but we'll throw some shock in here and zap it back to life. And then we'll get back in there and start working on the tools again. Bah. Gotta get it in the pool. All the way around, honey, before I you. Just, I am. What are you talking it about? It looks like it don't have much left in it. I mean, I don't. I know. but it'll be super clear within a couple hours and then by tomorrow it will be absolutely did you put new chlorine in the floater no why it'll do to it don't you youtube it how about you youtube it no, you YouTube it. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me on my Saturday. I know we didn't really have a whole lot going on, but I mean, that's just, we got some stuff accomplished. Got the tool corner fixed up and looking decent. We want to get everything looking at least halfway decent for whenever Mike and Lissa come down. So love you guys. Thank you so much, especially the people that actually hang in there and come and watch us and stay faithful. We love you guys so much and we appreciate you guys so much. And yeah, if you haven't already and you still made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. We love y'all so much. Until next time. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain.